today. I'm with Harriet Gagan. She's a WeChat marketing expert and today she's going to talk to us about marketing property to the Chinese. So thank you for joining us. Thank you very much for having me. The people that are on WeChat, so people that live in Australia or New Zealand and use WeChat, um, are they also on Facebook or is it really completely different audiences? I think it would depend on their age and their demographic and how long that they've been in Australia. So um, second generation Chinese younger, um, they'd be a lot more used to Facebook from their peer group. Um, but those that have just recently moved here or older generations or, um, you know, there'd be a huge group of people that just don't have as many connections on Facebook. So, and even they might have a Facebook account but never check it because most of their relationships and their family and their communication are on WeChat and then especially if they're very connected to family and friends back home as well, you would be really living and breathing WeChat and Facebook might be secondary. So there, there is definitely a large group of people that aren't on Facebook as well. Others, there's some crossover, but I think if you come back to thinking about, you know, WeChat gives you an instant translated version of your real estate listing that can be seen in China, so it can be shared. So it's like your digital brochure that you can send without having to print second brochures in Chinese. Um, and it also is just a huge signal that you're willing to be open and welcoming to people from a Chinese background or in Chinese culture. And that is a really huge, um, you know, it's less quantifiable than look how many clicks I got on a Facebook ad, but that relationship building is really what WeChat is all about. So there's no ad platform like we have on Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, there's no, there's no way to there is. run, there is, okay. Yeah. So you, you, can run, okay. you can run the ads, they just won't approve ads for real estate for the most part. Oh. Um, but even if you do run the ads, they're really great brand exposure, but you're not going to get a whole lot of inquiries and leads off that right. because you don't have that long established relationship with your um, potential customers. So when we come back to WeChat and how WeChat is built, you see why it's also central around messaging and direct communication. So the social platforms change continually. Um, is there anything that you've heard that's coming to WeChat or how often does it um, change its features and functionality? So the really interesting thing about WeChat is any developer um, can build apps that, uh, that live in WeChat and are compatible with WeChat and can be shared. So that means there's constantly so many new um, apps and features and all kinds of things. So, you know, in China, if you go to a restaurant, um, you don't go up and pay at the till anymore. You scan a QR code on the table and pay instantly through WeChat or you can split the bill with all your friends, all sorts of little things. And those are often apps that people outside of WeChat are developing. Mm -hmm. um, and the same is starting, we're starting to see in the real estate landscape in Australia as well. So um, at its most basic, we have sending sending messages and chats from agents to their potential buyers and communicating. Then we have a, platform, um, a WeChat official account where that's a platform for you to host your listings and write your content and share that. Now we're seeing agencies that are starting to build more interactive apps where within WeChat you can say so what's available in my postcode, put your postcode in and listings will appear and those kind of more interactive ways to take that to the next level and, and behave a lot more like the apps that you might sell on your phone or like a domain or a realestate.com.au. So you can, you know, if you can dream it, you can build it. Um, and things like some developers are even looking at um, working in the payment functions that you can put down your 1,000 or 5,000 holding deposit on sales day and you can get really interactive with it. So there's so many ways that it can build. And I think the way that WeChat has developed from being the most popular messaging platform to then being able to do all of these functions that you know take over people's entire lives, that gives it a huge amount of stickiness compared to other apps. One of the ways that we do promote, um, we've actually set up a series of WeChat groups. So with, within those chats, you can have up to 500 people in a group. And among the Chinese community in Australia, um, a lot of groups have grown and grown based on particular topics and actually wanting to have updates from businesses, whether it's you know investment news, or whether there's groups about visas and migration, and there's a lot of groups about real estate and property in certain areas. So you have the groups and then your clients advertise into your groups, like based on what yeah. the topic is or what type of property they're looking for? Yeah, so we've got over 10,000 in real estate groups that if you've got a property for sale um, and you've got a link that's within WeChat, we will share that into those groups. So we'll translate your listing and post it to groups and say, hey, there's this great property, here's the open home details, um, here's the agent's WeChat details, so you can converse directly with them. 
Um, so that's a way that we can we can definitely start growing your audience and your following. Um, and should an agent create their own group? Like if they work in a particular farm area or patch, should they start a group for that suburb? Yes, absolutely, because the most important thing with WeChat is that it's a long-term strategy. So um, real estate, you're really lucky in that you can grow a WeChat following quite quickly because you've got signboards that you can have your WeChat QR code all over the neighbourhood. When you have the WeChat logo and a QR code, people, WeChat users will instantly recognise they can scan that to follow your brand or to read more or see in Chinese your real estate listing. Um, so you can really work in your local area and build up your following and your relationship and your reputation as an agent, um, A, that they can converse with and B, that you're willing to meet them where they want to be met, which is WeChat, um, and that you're open to dealing with them in the way that they do business and their culture, which is really nice, I think, and really welcoming. We hear all the time from agents that when they tell Chinese um, prospects that they're on WeChat, they go, oh, really? Oh, that's great. And they're so excited that you're willing to um, embrace their culture in helping uh, undertake that transaction. So yes, I'd say absolutely get an official WeChat account and start some chat groups that you can push out your listings um, and really welcome people to um, engage with you on WeChat and over time you will build that fo trusted following. So you might not get your sales tr straight away, but you'll have members in that group that have really got to know you, seen that you're regularly putting out content, seen that you're accessible and they'll start inquiring over time. Well, thank you for all your insights. Um, you've got so much information and you, you, know, you really know the platform inside out and it's fantastic that you've built this channel and these tools that make it super easy for your clients or any real estate agency or developer to um, get their brand and get transactions happening through WeChat. So yeah. thank you, thanks for coming today. Thank you for having me.